Pilates. So if you're familiar with Pilates, brilliant. If not, it doesn't matter, okay? I'm gonna guide you all the way through this session. So first of all, we're gonna start off with a single leg stretch. And uh, we're going to have a minute on the clock and then we'll take a 10 second rest, okay? So that's how we're gonna go through the whole um, workout today. All right, guys, so we're gonna start on our back. So we'll head there now. Okay, coming down onto the mat, nice and controlled. Fair out of the way. Knees are into this tabletop position, making sure that your back is touching the ground so you're not arching your back um, at the bottom, okay? So we're just gonna extend one leg and then bring it into tabletop. Extend the other leg and bring it back. We extend and bring it back. Okay, guys, so we're just gonna do this to begin with and then we're gonna up the ante after we've done this. I just want you to get used to this movement. So we exhale and then we inhale, always exhaling on that move, making sure that your back is still touching the ground, you're bringing your belly button in towards your navel, okay? If you want to place your hands behind your head, you can go and do that, okay? So you can gently lift your shoulders off the ground, head and shoulders off the ground if that feels good for you. If you want to work a little bit harder, so we're taking that leg down. Now, if you want to feel a bit more in your abdominals, really bring that leg a little bit further down, okay? really tucking that to me, you'll start to feel this working in those lower abdominals. I need to breathe. Oh, we're nearly there guys, well done. Last one, and then hug it in. So we're going to stay down here for the next exercise. This time we're doing the same exercise, but we're going to raise our head and shoulders off the ground into a little ab curl. So legs and tabletop, we lift up and bring it back down. So we stretch and curl. too much, just bring your head down and carry on with those leg stretches there. Okay, here we go. Curl, making sure that we've got kind of a fist between your chin and your chest, so you're not craving that neck too much. Oh, I'm showing nearly, nearly there guys, <laughs> this is good. I can feel this work in those lower abdominals, keep it going. Oh, that's it, arms out, elbows out, you got this. There we go, guys. And last one. Excellent. And curl it in. Well done. Okay, we're going to stay in this position. This time, we're taking our arms up nice and straight. We're going to bring our knees to tabletop. And we're going to do opposite. So this is good for coordination. So I'm going to stretch out one leg and one arm. Bringing it back. One arm and one leg. It doesn't matter if you get confused with this one. Just keep trying. So really good for coordination. Good for those abdominals. I can actually feel it in my quads as well. Now I'm curling my hands or making a fist with my hands because I, for some reason I feel like it's easier to do that and it helps me think about which arm I'm leaving. So there we go. So you can bring that leg really low if you want to. If you've got lower back pains, just be mindful and you don't need to take that leg as low. <sighs> Exhale on that move. Tummy so tucked in. Remember to lift that pelvic floor. Super important, guys. Oh, I think my arms are going a bit everywhere when I'm talking, but that's okay. We keep trying it. There we go, guys. You've got this. Nearly there. Excellent. And one more. And bring it in to your belly. So our next exercise, we're coming on to our bottom. Legs are bent. We're going for a roll back, okay? So we're gonna roll through the bottom of our back, curl it back, and then we're gonna extend or float one arm out, and then we bring it back up to seated, or seated position, there we go. And then the opposite side. And then we bring it back up, so we're gonna roll up. And then we roll down, and then we roll up. So curling through that lower spine, extending. So you'll feel this working through your abdominals, you'll feel it in your hip flexors, and you're gonna feel it in your shoulders. So we're stabilizing that those shoulder joints creating a bit of endurance there. Remembering always to keep breathing and to keep smiling as well. There we go. You've got this guys, keep it going. And down we go. That's it. There we go. And rolling up, sitting up nice and tall, extending that spine, not extending, lengthening that spine. Beautiful, well done guys. Okay, next exercise, we're going 
going onto our hands and knees. So I'm just gonna come and move my mat a little bit this way so you can see me here. So hands and knees, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And we are going to flex our foot, float it out, arm in front, and then we're just going to lower. Lift and lower. I'm just gonna bring that hand in. Lift and lower. So it's a Superman pose here, but you're gonna feel this working through your hamstrings and your glutes, as well as it's lengthening and strengthening your spine. Okay, so our core is not just made up of our abdominals, it is it's the muscles that go around our body making a corset. So you've got your transverse abdominals in there, your abdominals, your pelvic floor and your gluteal diffidus, which runs through your rectus spinae, so down your spine basically. Okay, so we want to strengthen the whole part of our body so that we've got a really con hot, like, really strong core um, that will support our lower back and help us regain day life. Okay, so keeping that spine nice and long and bringing it down. Okay, so just have a little stretch up there. We're gonna go straight into the opposite side. So here we go, get yourselves ready. Opposite arm, opposite leg, flex that foot. When we flex that foot, it's really, oops, I need to flex that foot there. So as we flex our foot, that will help to work our abdominals a little bit more. So keep it nice and strong, nice and straight. Trying to keep your back straight. Imagine you've got some glasses of wine on the back of there. And you don't want to spill them, so you want to keep really still, really activating your tummy muscles, lifting that pelvic floor. There we go, I can feel this working my glutes as well, which is awesome. Great for our coordination as well. Okay guys, I think you've really got the hang of this one. Or I seem to have got a bit of a, a bit of a hang of it. Move the camera so you can see me a little bit better here. Whew. 